Hi guys, welcome back to another video on this channel and thanks so much for tuning in again. Now in today's video, I wanna give you my first impressions and quick thoughts on the new Date for Men by Jeremy Fragrance, which is the second fragrance that Jeremy co-developed with, I think, Alberto Morillas again. And this one arrived today in my uh, mailbox. So I had to shoot a review. I was the first one to shoot a review for his first fragrance, Office for Men. And I told myself that I'm going to be the first one to shoot a review for the second fragrance as well. Now, first of all, I'm going to give you the obvious because this packaging looks way better than the first one. Uh, if you have seen the video, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to link it in this corner, I believe, or this one, I'm never never sure where this, where this thing is. But anyways, guys, if you have seen my review of Office for Men, you know that there was a different bottle back then. It was a square bottle and the packaging was different and there was no cap and all that stuff. And although some of you guys believe that I was paid by Jeremy to say all this stuff, I did quite like the bottle design, to be honest, and I didn't really mind the packaging. Now, the packaging has been updated. You can see that there is uh, this shiny uh, print on there, which is actually quite neat. And apart from that, it's still made in Germany, uh, which is also why I got this so fast, because I also, also live in Germany. Now the bottle itself, um, I've sprayed this already, so uh, don't worry about the fingerprints. The bottle itself feels a little different than the old one. So to all the haters out there, this one does have a cap. Um, it's not the best cap though, so it's uh, quite a thin cap. I really like the bottle design. I can't tell you, however, if I like this one more or the square one more. I've just given this a first run in the German version of this video. And I have to say that, first of all, my arm is now coated in perfume. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's a really shiny, really, really shiny arm now. Um, which means that there is a high concentration of perfume oil in there, which is good. However, I don't really think that the fragrance is too special. And it's actually kind of disappointing because I really liked Office for Men. And this one seems to be more of a designerish type fragrance even than Office for Men. I mean, Office for Men was kind of mainstreamish and this one seems to be more mainstreamish. And I don't really know why and I'm kind of disappointed. So in the first few minutes, you will get a huge blast of citrus and ambroxan. So if you are familiar with the likes of uh, Dior Sauvage or uh, Mont Blanc Explorer, you will know that there is this typical citrus ambroxan combination. And if you don't know these fragrances, please try them before you try this one so you will know what expects you in the first few minutes. Apart from that, there is some cardamom in here, um, which is kind of a weak fragrance note, but you can still identify the cardamom. And apart from those three notes, so citrus, ambroxan and cardamom, I personally don't really smell any particular note. And that's an issue because it makes it really similar to the likes of Y by Yves Saint Laurent or Bleu de Chanel or all those other very um, mainstreamish type designer fragrances. I know that Jeremy has said a lot of times about this fragrance that it contains oud and has marketed it as a very uh, niche type fragrance because it contained oud, but knowing the, in, the ingredient myself and I have several oud distillations here at home, I can't really tell if there is oud in this fragrance or not. I can't really tell whether it contains anything apart from ambroxan, citrus notes and cardamom because I don't really smell anything apart from that. And it's really sad because I expected this fragrance to be special and to be warm and woody and yeah, like nice. And it's not, it's more of a medium to average um, designer type fragrance. Now it could be that this changes throughout the development of this fragrance. I've sprayed this on 20 minutes ago, so I can't really tell you what the development of this fragrance will be like on my skin. But if you want to know more about that, you can leave a comment in the comment section down below and I will definitely answer that question to you in a video or maybe even just in the comments. Sorry for the interruption guys, but I had to quickly give you an update on how the scent develops on my skin because it's been 45 minutes since I sprayed it and although I had already shot the video that you're currently watching, I wanted to give you the most honest opinion and uh, it was 
a little bit one-sided, so I had to uh, quickly shoot this because it's been 45 minutes and right now I do get some of the bass notes, so I do get some vetiver and a little bit of oud, but not too much. And for me, it's still overshadowed by the top notes, so it's still overshadowed by this massive citrus blast from the beginning and some of the ambroxan. And uh, for that reason, my overall opinion does not change. So it's still for me very similar to a medium grade designer type fragrance. Um, and I will keep you guys updated on how the scent develops if you want to know that. Anyways, that's my impression after 45 minutes. And now let's jump to the conclusion. Enjoy. But so far, my first impression of this fragrance isn't as good as I would have liked it to be. But still, I invite you to check out Fragrance 1 in the description box down below. If you did like this, please leave me a thumbs up and let me know your opinion of Date for Men in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time and bye-bye.